on the weekend, uh, a group of people uh, called on others to go and arrest the police, members of the Peterborough Police Department. But in the end, it was some of those protesters who were arrested. At Peterborough's police station, an ordinary Monday. What unfolded here on Saturday was not. The weekly anti-government protest downtown took a twist after this woman, Romana Dedulo, in the motorhome, called on people to arrest members of the local police. They 100% believed that they could arrest uh, the police, and I wouldn't be surprised if they tried again. A group went to Peterborough Police Headquarters, and some tried to carry out the wishes of a woman who calls herself the Queen of Canada. She's espoused anti-government, anti-vaccine views for months. People really believe in what she says her followers do to the point where they, you know, quit paying their bills because she told them that they no longer have to pay them and some are losing their homes. Eventually, two of the protesters were arrested and held for a court appearance. Not good. Not good. Many in Peterborough have grown tired of the protests. Ah, stupid. But arresting the police is something new. The obstruction potentially of the police movement throughout the police department is likely what caused the issue. It's either insanity or it's treason. But this University of Pittsburgh professor says this kind of government effort must be taken seriously, even if it appears on the fringes. They want to replace it with some creation of their own. And um, I don't think we should ignore people who are making steps or strides uh, to actually carry out these ideas. This story is still developing. Just a little over an hour ago, the Peterborough police chief put out a video statement. They've now arrested a third suspect, a 31-year-old man charged with three charges in connection with what happened at the police station on the weekend, adding to two other men who are charged. They're in their 50s, plus the Ontario Special Investigations Unit. They're investigating because of injuries that were sustained by one of the people who was arrested. So police asking for videos, asking for more evidence. There will likely be more charges and there may be more situations like what we saw here in Peterborough on the weekend. Stay tuned. Tracy. All right, Sean, thank you for staying on top of all of that for us. Sean O'Shea live in Peterborough for us. Thanks, Sean.